Hey guys, this is SoFlo Josh, and I'm over here at BMW of South Miami to review this 2023 Lexus NX 350H. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get up to the exterior of this model. Now, this is the second generation of the Lexus NX. And if I'm gonna be honest with you, I was not a huge fan of the first generation NX. The overall styling and the front, the rear, just wasn't it. With this second generation, Lexus went ahead and got whatever design language that was in the past, they completely thrown it out and they come out with this beautiful design language. And I think it's very, very, very nice. The overall styling is something that I really liked when they first revealed it back I think in 2019 or 2020 if I'm not mistaken but let's go ahead and talk about the overall styling up in the front over here you could see you have that nice spindle grille over here finished in a gray styling as well as the nice sharp edges of the spindle grille I've always liked the spindle grille of Lexus's um, but with this generation I love the way they designed it now this isn't the F Sport package unfortunately but the S4 package will give you more of a sportier design uh, grill as well as the side, the way that the side intakes look and everything. So let's go ahead and talk about the headlights right over here. As you can see, they are no longer disconnected. The DRL is no longer disconnected from the headlight. I love that they did that. They, they've gone away from that with all their Lexus products. As you can see, very nice sharp DRL projector headlight right there and unfortunately right over here is a bulb type turn signal which i do not like at all that's one thing i would expect on the non-hybrid ones but the hybrid ones should come with that luxury feature of having led getting over here you have a nice sharp section right here trim level it's kind of like a front splitter but it's really not and you have a nice area right here to pass air around the wheel which is really weird because if we go onto this area right here, as you can see, it's actually closed up. So that's probably for cooling that has to do with the battery. Now this is the 350H. So this one makes 240 horsepower and 168 pound feet of torque from a CVT uh, transmission. Well, actually with the CVT transmission, let's go ahead and unlock the hood really quick so I could show you guys what it looks like underneath the hood. Yes, yes, I know Toyota, <laughs> Lexus, I mean. And as you can see, it's actually strut. You have struts right here on the side, which is really nice. You would expect that from a premium brand like this. And as you see right here, you have your four cylinder engine. And then as you can see that yellow, I mean that orange right there is basically telling you, hey, this is a hybrid. So we have that 2.4 liter uh, four cylinder under the hood. And that's gonna be great for around the city. Uh, it's quoted at 41 for city and if i'm not mistaken 38 for the highway but that's going to be absolutely amazing remember when you're stop and go you're going to add some more uh you know boost into that battery with the regenerative braking these though this does come with regenerative braking which is a good thing let's go ahead and get down here we have that same lexus style rims that we've always known and love now one thing i will note a lot of Lexus models does have a lot of brake dust. Uh, so just regularly clean them so they don't look really bad or look, look really dusty. With these rims, the way they, they're finished in this nice uh, silver finish uh, all around, it's gonna get a ton of brake dust. So just remember that whenever you're purchasing a Lexus vehicle, try to go ahead and uh, get them clean as regularly as possible. You have your nice black plastic cladding on the front and on the lower part of the door. Getting to the side profile, let's talk about the side profile really quick, I almost fell there for a second. Um, as you can see, really nice line that kind of just sh shoots up from the very, very end of this front fender and then it just goes throughout the door handle and then concave, like goes up to this window section right here where the C-pillar is at. I like the overall styling that Lexus has gone with this. You know, the other generation didn't look that well I, I just did not like I'll say it again the first generation if you're gonna buy any kind of generation I think you should buy the second generation not the first generation um, But that line goes there comes up and then goes into the C pillar area window Section right here, but it looks really nice And then there's another line that comes out of nowhere and then shoots across the whole back and as we get into the back section we have what Lexus now incorporates with every single model in their brand which is this full width 
uh, LED tail light section. You have an LED bar right here in the middle and you have two LEDs right here. Um, luckily, this is a full LED uh, turn signal as well as the reverse lights down there and your brake lights, which I don't get how they couldn't have done that into the front, but I digress. Getting over here, a nice finished spoiler up here. I kind of wish they would have brought it a little bit more back and then tucked this underneath there. I've, I've said this before and I will say this always again, uh, they need to tuck that in here. But if they were to do it, then this camera system right here, as you can see, there is a camera system. I don't know if you could tell, but that's actually for the rear view mirror. You can actually flip it up and it will display through that digital camera instead of having to look out uh, with the regular rear view mirror. So 350H over here, Lexus badge down the middle. Um, getting over here to the bottom section, you can see they kind of try to do a somewhat style of an exhaust, but it's actually tasteful. I, I do like it and I like that gloss black that goes wrapping around and you have these little fake vents over here. They need to get rid of that for when they do the facelift model. I, I don't really like that. Well, since we're already back here, let's actually talk about the rear trunk space. So this is a power operated trunk space as you can see right here. You do have this flimsy style uh, partition right here i don't i'm not particularly fond of this my honda hrv has something like this and it is one of the most annoying things to have especially trying to put it away but luckily lexus has it where you can fold it and you could put it away in here as you can see you have a little net system right here as well as a section to put some groceries or to hang some type of bag you do also have a 12 bolt back here which is absolutely great and you have another one over here for your bags and so the space is absolutely amazing. You have a lot of length on the, the height of, you know, the trunk space, really nice. And then you have this nice carpeted uh, mat right here that says Lexus NX. Getting over here, you can open up and you have more cubby space right here to put a bunch of stuff. And then right over here is your battery section, uh, which is just so you know, do not access that. Let the text access that. You don't need to access that. if You don't want to get electrocuted. Um, but overall space is very, very optimal. It's very class competitive with like, for example, a BMW X1 or even a BMW X2. Um, just keep that in mind. You do have a, like I said, power uh, tailgate right here and you can also lock it from the back, which is good. Or if you want to, whenever it does give out, you can actually go ahead and use it manually. Now, let's go ahead and get into the rear area. Now, one thing that first was available with the NX is that to unlock or open the rear door, you press a button right here in the back in order to access the rear doors and the front doors. Now, a lot of the brand, a lot of the models within the Lexus brand has actually incorporated that. So expect to see that more often. The only model that doesn't have it, I believe is the current GX and maybe the LX. Um, but overall styling, really nice. Touch points all across. You have this nice styling inside of here. Uh, it kind of just looks like black out design speaker tweeter right there and you push here to actually release the door now if there's ever an emergency where you need to get out and it just gives way you pull twice in order to you know get out of the vehicle you do have your door unlock and lock right here nice area to get you know grab it when you're closing in and speaking of that let's go ahead and get into the interior and as you can see um, really nice. I like the overall styling of it. This red interior is nice. Now, this is like I said, this isn't the F Sport package, so I'm kind of surprised that we have um, red interior with this nice black accent across the dash and as well back here. Nice air vents for the rear occupants. I'm really glad that Lexus incorporated that. Getting over here, you have two cup holders right here, and then you have two USB C's down here as well, which is really cool and you do have a 12 volt down there. Nice pockets back here as well. A um, lot of head space. Let me go ahead and sit up right. And the, the seats are reclined a little bit. I have roughly about uh, an inch and a half or to two inches of head space right here. So really, really nice. And then you have your lights fiction right here. 
full LED, so that's gonna add a lot of light, especially at night. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the uh, front seat. Before I go, leg room space, absolutely amazing. I mean, sitting like this, you know, it's a nice area right here as well. I would say about, you know, two and a half to three inches of leg room space. Now this is where I would sit typically. And we're getting into the interior of the front section. Now this does come with the blind spot detection as you can see right there. Overall, I love the way that the Toyota, well, Lexus has designed this interior. I, I just got out of the Toyota Supra, which is over there. So that's why I'm saying Toyota a lot. Um, but right here, nice soft touch points right here, as well as here. It's a very nice soft padded right here, as well as here. And you have your window switches here and here with your door unlock, as well as the um, to to close all the windows and your automatic mirrors to fold in and out. So getting into the interior and you are met with a full digital gauge cluster over here and a nice large 14 inch touchscreen display. Now this 14 inch touchscreen display has been embedded into every Toyota product, even the new 4Runners getting it. Um, it is one of Toyota's best new operating systems. They give you every single information. Let's go ahead and go into navigation. Um, I'm sure it's gonna ask us to uh, activate services. Yeah, so unfortunately I can't show you the navigation, but it is very snappy. You have heated and cooled seats for these seats, heated steering wheel. You can do all your climate control through here. As you can see, you also do have a uh, the icer for the front windshield, which not even a lot of brands do that. Not even BMW X1s are have that available. So imagine, you know, think about that. This is a Lexus and they still offer that. Heads up display up here, digital gauge cluster, nice steering wheel right here, paddle shifters here. You also do have your wiper blades and all the switch gears for your turn signal and your headlights. You have to release your trunk over your gas cap over here. And then you can also release your trunk right here. Information all around here. Um, you do have your cruise control buttons and then you can also change a little bit of sections right here in the middle um, But it, overall actually you can see it right there once you hit this It'll tell you exactly and it's actually like touch capacitive in a way when you put your hand over it It'll go ahead and mimic exactly what you see there So you could display it to see g-force adaptive cruise your compass uh, audio off or the EV driving ratio. It says 83% right now the vehicle is on and this is where you have your power button Really nice. So once you power it on, it's actually completely quiet It uses the battery instead of turning on the engine after a little bit. It'll go ahead and turn on the engine um, but with that being said Over here display climate control as you can see right there You can go ahead and turn it off if you want to you press off and it'll just completely turn it off, which is really nice. And you have nice dials over here. Let's go ahead and turn it back on so I could show you the, uh, let's go ahead and there. there we go. And then you could see it has a nice click to it. Very, very satisfying click. Feels very luxurious. Yeah, it's a little bit slow in the way that it comes up when you click when you're going really fast, but it feels really nice. Same thing for the uh, volume control over here. It's very nice and soft. Um, but yeah, really nice. I like the overall design of this 14 inch display. And like I was mentioning back over there, when we we're talking about the trunk space, you click over here, boom, right there, full digital rear view camera. Now this is going to be absolutely great. Whenever you have rear occupants right there. Oh, you know, I have my, my, my parents in here, man, they're so tall. I can't see out the back. Boom. That's what you do. You turn this on, you flip this buddy right here and right there, done and dusted. Over here you have a nice glass right here for your sunroof. It is power operated. As you can see, if we were to click this, it opens up. And then this one actually, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay. Interesting. So I'm kind of getting used to this. <laughs> Because I'm not used to, I don't have a car that has, there we go. Now this fully opens up the uh, the window over here and then you can close it again by clicking forward. Uh, it's only this section, there's no panoramic sunroof, which I kind of wish that uh, this model would have the panoramic sunroof, but as you can see, you have to manually open it. 
uh, which is unfortunate. I think it should be power operated. Um, overall, nice design, nice section right here. You do have your drive modes here as well, sport mode. Um, when you click over, you can go to eco. Um, which is cool. I like the overall touch points and then you can go to the normal section right there when you press in. Shifter, CVT, eCVT transmission. When you go and press the brake, you go to the side and then you go down to drive. If you want to go back into, neut into neutral or reverse, you have to click sideways um, and then you press the park button right there. To shift into sport, you actually have to go, I think if it's not, if I'm not mistaken, there we go. So it's just straight down into sport. Um, not really a huge fan of this. I kind of rather, rather have a regular transmission, but I, I mean, I can understand why uh, Toyota did not do it like that. USB Type-C right there, regular USB right there, a nice little cubby section right here. And then down here, you actually have a section to put more stuff, your 12 volt right there. Really nice luxury features, cup holders all around parking emergency brake right there ev mode and then your auto hold when you're on a hill you also do have your traction control off and if you click this this will go ahead and have it for off-road capabilities down here nice section to put a bunch of things i would say a a buttload of uh pop tarts right there which is great you can open this from either section so you don't have to open it from the side there if the passenger is right here they don't have to come over to the other side which is really great nice soft padding all around here nice sport seats i love the way that these seats are super plush They're, you know it's a luxury vehicle you would expect that but it's a nice sporty style uh seat nice headrest as well and then getting over here we open it damped in line with felt which is really really good so with, get, with that being said, let's go ahead and take this model out to the road. So guys, I'm back over here at the main level and let's go ahead and take this puppy out for a drive, putting in a drive, like I said, back to the left and then down. So let's go ahead and take it out to South Dixie. So uh, one thing I'm noticing about this model thus far, since I've driven it back down here, is that it feels very, very nice. The suspension feels very, very plush. It's nothing too rough that you would expect from uh, other brands. I mean, BMW has a very tough suspension. That's because they're more of a luxury slash sporty style of uh, vehicle. With this model, you can you would expect to have more of a plush style. Now, there is an F Sport performance handling one that you can get, or uh, F Sport handling package that you can get for the F, -Spep, the F Sport version only, uh, but you can't get that for this one, unfortunately. But the overall seating position is very nice. I could see out the car, you know, you could know exactly the distance of your hood uh, and the lines on the sides of the of the hood actually help a little bit with designating exactly where to go. And as you can see right there, look how high definition that rear view camera is for this section right here. Without it, let's go ahead and see right here. It's going to, as you see, just normal style. But once you put it up there, boom back to normal to the digital camera. I like it. This infotainment system also has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so just keep that in mind. Um, then you have your modes right here. Let's go ahead and put into sport mode really quick. Uh, you could actually change the, you know, the speed of the transmission uh, going up and down, you know, but I, I don't really recommend this. Let's go ahead and also put it into see sport transmission so that means we're going to get the ultimate amount of performance out of this transmission as well as the uh, the engine really nice uh, you do feel a little bit of body roll around uh, whenever you're you know turning in but that's to be expected i mean this is a SUV well CUV um, so expect to see uh, some type of body roll whenever you're going around curves but it feels really good the balance from section to section even though you feel that body roll it feels good it feels like you're planted you know it feels like you're not gonna be going anywhere um, so yeah just really good I like the overall feeling uh, of this uh, car and you can see right there it says a stop sign that's something cool i've never seen that in any other vehicle um mind you this is my first ever lexus that i'm reviewing and it just feels really really good the overall you know mm, just 
yeah, it has that nice luxury feeling that we've known and loved from Lexuses for years now. Um, so love the styling of it and I love the interior. The interior is very airy uh, with this two-tone coloring right here. It, it adds more to a vibrant um, look into the interior. So whoever well, respect this with the beige exterior with the red and black on the dash has done a really good job and I like the overall styling. But with that being said, let's go ahead and take it back onto South Dixie and I'm gonna stay quiet so you guys can hear everything that goes on. feel um the trans transition from the ev to the gas portion is very smooth you don't feel anything i mean toyota and lexus has perfected what a hybrid is so that's one thing i've noticed straight off the bat it just feels very smooth very responsive you can feel that transition but it's not like rough you don't feel anything bad from it um the overall ride comfortability is there your you know the plushness everything the steering wheel feels really good when you're going around those curbs as you saw that i was passing through that section really really nice um but let's go ahead and go back upstairs to the second floor and i'm going to go ahead and conclude this video all right so now that i'm up here on the second floor let's go ahead and conclude this video and my final thoughts on the lexus nx 350h so second generation they knocked that out of the park everything that was wrong with the first generation they completely fixed the suspension feels amazing that hybrid system feels absolutely amazing the interior touch points feels far better and far more premium and it's not cluttered up by old technology everything in this vehicle is exactly what people have been wanting from the lexus brand and i think they've knocked every single checklist that they had um styling wise looks phenomenal the interior feels phenomenal i think i love all of the technology i wish i would have been able to see the navigation system to tell you guys uh how smooth it is and how fast it is but i've seen videos stating that it's very fast uh, i love the little touch points i like how you have an electronic release for the door handle the interior just feels so much better so much more premium than the last generation i love this 14 inch display right here it just feels so nice in this cabin and i have to say i would totally recommend this version of the lexus nx especially if somebody who likes hybrids i actually love hybrids i love hybrids i love electric vehicles i love internal combustion models as well i love them all i mean at the end of the day they're they're vehicles i'm an automotive enthusiast so i'm going to love every single proportion that is out there so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.